Rahu is a very deceptive planet. Deceptive because sages have very clearly told the results of Rahu, but astrologers are still confused. For this reason, it is deceptive because it have deceived modern day astrologers also. Regarding the result of Rahu, I have made multiple videos that you can watch. Now, Rahu is a planet who gives you delusion, right? Who makes you feel that you own it, but you don't. Whichever house Rahu is situated in, you feel like, you know, the batters of the house depends on you or you are the one who have done maximum with regard to this house, but that may or may not be true. I'm not saying this will be entirely false. It may or may not be true. And because it may or may not be true, it is deceptive. However, our topic for today is depending on how Rahu being situated in different houses, what is the thing that you should do to make sure you get the best result of Rahu. And I should tell you one thing that all the super successful people whom the world aspire today to become like them, they are all because of Rahu. So Rahu related remedy one should do for sure because two things are there. Rahu will never be entirely good. Being a malefic planet, cruel planet, shadowy planet, it will do bad results for all of us. And it is Rahu who can take you to the greatest heights. So Rahu related remedy is very, very essential. And these remedies that I am telling you, karmic remedies are very much impactful. So impactful that when I made the first video, I told you that I take it as a substitute for gemstones. Right. So these remedies are so powerful that I take them as substitute of gemstones. Super powerful. And because these remedies are karmic, it also makes sure that the result of these remedies are enjoyed for a lifetime. Right. So remedies related to Rahu, karmic correction remedies related to Rahu in different houses is what I am going to tell you in this video. Take proper note, follow these things and see the change in your life yourself. Now coming to the point, if Rahu is in the first house, Malefic in the first house, you should practice self-restraint, self-control. It is very easy to be get lured by lust, greed, anger, but control it. Specifically give happiness to your parents and elders and obey your parents. Generally having pets in your home is not very good. That should be avoided. If you are already having pets, then like you are mentally attached to them. So you cannot do much about it. But if possible, don't have pets in your home. People from other caste, creed and religion, try to help them as much as possible. If they are somehow interested to know about your caste, creed and religion, inform them properly. Right. Help them as much as possible. Helping females, giving credits to females, working with females, working under the guidance of female will be very good. And one should try to be humble. Don't try. Don't be egoistic or very proud. That is a trait of malefic in the ascendant, but be humble. That will be very good for you. Raho in the second house, one should be financially very committed. Pay your debts on time. And if you have a financial liability, before you spend money for your enjoyment, fulfill that liability first. That will be best for you. Engaging in financial fraud, financial misconduct should be highly avoided. Whenever possible, if you know about things, give proper guidance to people, share your experiences with them so that it can help them do better. And whenever I use this word, I also mean that you should, if possible, write books and blogs about your experiences and educate people in the society that you Raho in the second house, do not use abusive language while speaking or talking or discussing to anyone. Neither say bad things about people behind their back. That will be good. Eating a lot of fast food or eating food which is cooked for more than six hours ago should be avoided. If possible, be vegetarian. Donation of food should also be done and specifically donations to temple. Any type of donation, donation of wealth, clothes or anything that can be useful for the temple should be done, which will be very, very good. When Rahu is there in the third house, you should help and support your siblings. You should take all your decisions after proper contemplation. Don't make a hastily wrong, wrong judgment based decisions at all. First of all, have a habit of writing, writing properly on pen and paper and while writing, Take care of punctuations, etc. That will be very good for you. 
use safety tools and equipments while working and if possible donate them to people also practicing meditation teaching people about meditation educating about meditation and reading what spirituality will be very good and one should be vigilant about their property and about their belongings and should install safety systems etc in their home that will be very good if there is rahu in the fourth house then you should be independent as soon as possible like like you know like don't delay your professional you know the start of your professional career be self dependent as early as you can do the later you start more problematic it will be become a good neighbor don't you know don't be a nuisance to your neighbors right spending money on bad voices bad vices alcohol etc should be avoided people who are struggling from misfortunes or going through bad times try to help them as much as possible respect and follow your grandparents and if possible try to stay away from your birthplace i don't live in your birthplace that will be very good right if there is rahu in the fifth house it is very probable that you will have spiritual powers but do not use it for harming people neither advise spiritual things to others that they can misuse faking spiritual power and authority should be avoided under all cost one should be faithful in relationships and do not cheat in relationships an authentic and bona fide guru if you can find you should follow them if you cannot find then you can find people like ramana maharshi ramakrishna paramahansa etc if possible live near a pilgrimage or temple and if you are not living then you can find a hotel near a pilgrimage and temple and you should live there at least for one week or more whatever you should remain dedicated and devoted to your elders parents and anyone for that matter and you should donate and work for the protection of land trees and cleanliness of rivers etc natural resources technically take care of natural resources with rahu in the fifth house rahu in the sixth house do not harm animals under any condition you should use your knowledge to help people around you you should respect your co-workers should donate money for animal welfare right you should avoid fighting as much as possible do not argue with people right believe in actions rather than in arguments right and even the smallest of health problems even a simple back ache or a cough which is lasting for more than one month do not avoid it get it treated as quickly as possible. if there is rahu in the 7th house then you should be very faithful in relationships don't cheat in relationship marriage or partnership of any kind even to your friend circles also don't cheat them don't back off from the promises that you have made rahu in the 7th house either stay away from your birthplace or travel once a month frequent traveling is the key that should be done fighting litigation should be avoided as much as possible don't initiate fights don't get into litigations and whenever possible try to do a mutual settlement do not harm animal birds and other creatures at all if possible by the way of bali vaishwadev you should give them something to eat that will be even better bali vaishwadev is in the evening before taking food you take some food out and leave it on the ground for the animals to eat that is bali vaishwadev whenever possible give gifts to maids coworkers house helps and other people who are socially lower than you and most importantly be merciful and compassionate towards everyone around you Rahu in the eighth house, one should be very careful about their consumption, the type of thoughts they are consuming, the type of food they are consuming, the type of habits they are developing. They should be careful about it. Specifically, if one can remain vegetarian and do not use intoxications, then it will be best for them. Overthinking should be avoided under all conditions. Think about things, take a decision, and then forget about it. Overthinking is problematic. Meditation, if possible, you should learn and practice it. sharing your plans and ideas with others should not be done with uh, with the people of outer world you should maintain a distance people should not know too much about yourself and professional and personal life should be uh, should be maintained separately 
do not intermingle your personal and professional life otherwise it will be problematic waking up late till night and rising late in the morning waking up late in the morning is bad so proper a uh, follow schedule proper a uh, sorry follow a proper schedule that will be very good for you and most importantly respect people of every religion criticizing people for their religion and religious practices for their you know thought process etc should be avoided if there is rahu in the ninth house then you should follow your grandparents father and lineage by following lineage i means that i mean that if there is thing like you know in our family we don't you know for example if you are from family of brahmins then you should not drink alcohol not not eat non vegetarian food talk to someone with compassion and grace right such things should be followed one should worship sages there kula devata sthana devata and gram devata so to worship sages there are mantras for worshiping sages that you can do other than that in places like himachal bihar and other places there are temples for sages also caves for sages also like there is parashar lake in himachal there you can visit that will be good kula devata kula devi you can find and visit their temple and do offerings for them sthana devata and gram devata is the deity of the major temple of the place or the area you live in so that temple you should visit once every week and try to give donations there and or you should try to donate to the priests etc working at that place that will be very good for you right raho in the ninth house you should maintain cleanliness and you should not pollute public properties at all rivers parks gardens etc do not pollute them take care of its cleanliness as much as possible that will be very good for you worshiping goddess durga visiting god visiting temple of goddess durga specifically in rahu kalam will specifically be very very beneficial one should try to travel once a month frequent travels are very good with rahu in the ninth house and faking about education knowledge and intelligence of the native right trying to come out as someone who is more intelligent etc is not very good so that also should be avoided with rahu in the 10th house occasionally you should give gifts to your servants and employees you should pay your debts on time right you should not fake things speak truth only and speak about the right things only faking even smallest things will be a problem in a long run right don't have a you know fake personality or faking about your possessions and these things should be avoided the inner child you know which can open up to anyone which can share things to anyone which can sit with anyone should be kept alive right having too much of ego or over indulgence in thoughts related to self should be avoided one should try to have multiple sources of income or should follow a passion along with practicing their profession this will be good in a lo in longer run in longer go cheating your guru teacher father or not fulfilling your promises made to them will be problematic and abortion of child or you know physical violence towards children yelling at children etc should be avoided and all cost otherwise it will be problematic right so this is something that have to be maintained other than this if there is rahu in 11th house then one should make sure that they earn money through legitimate sources only do not earn money through illegitimate sources neither you know try to earn money through illegitimate sources right if someone wants to you know like earn money by deceiving people or earn money by luring people to invest into something etc this is not good right one should pay their debts on time also follow practice financial ethics and morals and any promise of payment or giving money if you have made follow it which will be good for you control your lust greed and anger don't over indulge with it appreciate people for their hard work and give them proper credit for their hard work 
right? You should use jewelry in your appearance whenever you wear things. Wearing jewelries and accessories. Whenever you dress up, wearing jewelries and accessories will be very good. Using forest products, bamboo, etc. You should decorate your home and your living room and your work table. That will also be very good for that will also be very good for you with Rahu in the eleventh house. And if possible, try to gift tools and machines and beautiful artifacts to your relatives, specifically to the to your siblings and the siblings of your mother and father. That will be very, very beneficial for you. All right. Rahu, in 12th house, you should be careful about spending money. Spending money in alcohol for competition, litigation, and to take revenge from people, all of these things are very bad with Rahu in the 12th house. So that is something that should be avoided. First thing. Secondarily, People of another caste, creed, and religion, try to help them as much as possible. Most importantly, try to make foreigners and people of other caste, creed, and religion understand about your religion and your practices and the ethics and morals associated with your community or your religion. That will be very good. Along with that, one should also watch their company the type of friends they have, the type of things they read, the type of things that they think, right? And one should try to maintain purity in all of these things, then it will be good, right? Spending money in, you know, bad things, such as fighting, etc., talking bad about people is not very good. That should be avoided. One should, you know, travel frequently, going on a voyage to keep, you know, peace and have good harmony in life is also very good. So that should be done. If possible, one should purchase a property and keep it empty or leave some empty space around their house. That will be very good. You can also leave galleries in the all four sides of your house. That will also be good. And also maintain cleanliness around yourself. That will also be very good. With elders of the family and society, you should maintain cordial relationships with them. Respect them, obey them, and occasionally give them gifts to keep them happy also. These things you will do. Rahu will give good results. And the bad results of Rahu will be controlled to a great extent. So do this and have a good life and good results of Rahu. Thank you for watching the video.